Libra land. Hello, friends. So I know you guys can like barely see these pants, but the prints, like, let me put the leg up. <laughs> I just needed to show you guys. This was, I've had them for a couple months and I've been waiting to the summer to wear them. Oh my gosh. I love them. So I just had to show you guys. Anyways, I do have a robe on. This was my outfit, but it got a little chilly with the hair in the house. So I have my silky robe on now. Okay. So anyways, Libra. Hey friends. Hey, if you have not booked your reading with me, I have opened up some more 20 minute phone call slots over the next few days for the rest of this month. And I will have my schedule for July up very shortly, you guys. But if you haven't booked yet, do so soon because it's been lit. Like, oh my gosh, every reading has been amazing <laughs> just yes I can't wait to connect with um with those that have booked already and we're getting ready to do your reads in the next few days and for those of you that are considering booking I would book with your girl because the reads have been amazing okay anyways anyways -ing. that was amazing and anyways together anyways -ing. Libra we're gonna start with the haunted tarot and look at that the key talking about white silky she has on this white silky dress here mm-hmm they couldn't stop it, Libra. They tried. They lit candles on you. For some of you, there was like some type of masculine group or it doesn't have to be a masculine group. Could have been feminines too. Doing magic against you, but it didn't stop it. It didn't stop you. It didn't stop your destiny from coming through. You're stepping into the power. It's almost like the key to esoteric knowledge and I just heard the key to the city but to you it's like the key to more knowledge to further yourself in this life sort of like these elite group of people at the top of the steps they are in the shadows you know we don't know exactly who they are. They know you. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's what I just heard. And I just saw 313 on the clock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Spirit, what does Libra need to know at this time? Beautiful Librans, the handsome Librans, spectacular. What did I hear? Refracted, refractular, <laughs> like a light refracts. I'm being goofy. Oh, Libra. What? Okay, this is kind of creepy. You got the King of Wands out, right? Looking like he wants to make somebody his victim, okay? How, Sway? The Queen of Wands at the bottom? What are the odds of these two counterparts coming out together? The King and Queen of the same suite. It's, it's very rare they show up together like this. And what the heck does a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands have to do with you, Libra? Part of that group that was working against you, trying to stop you from your innate abilities. Mm-hmm. Jealous of your innate abilities. Jealous of your powers. Mm-hmm. For sure. So why are they here? What do they want? Why are they here? 
Who is this couple? What do they want? Why are they here? The Three of Swords in reverse. With the Queen of Cups. They were not able to execute their plan. Divine intervention. Something about timing went awry. And I'm hearing divine intervention. This Queen of Cups card could be signifying angelic intervention. Because in this deck, she has these angel wings. That's exactly what it was. Whoa. For some of you, you had divine or angelic intervention on your behalf. Protecting you from a king of wands or a queen of wands or both. What else would you like Libra to know? What else would you like Libra to know? What did I tell you about the group? This deck of cards is, is straight up. There's like no tiptoeing around it. Yeah, ain't no way around it. Ain't no way around it. That used to be a song. That I mean, that is a song. Didn't used to be a song. I forget. Ain't no way around. Who sang that? T I G Z. I don't know, but it, it's a song. Ain't no way around it. Google it. Um. I don't know why that just came up. Well, do you know what I'm hearing? Listen, this isn't going to resonate for everybody. And this reading is not for everybody. I read for thousands of Librans. Thousands across the world. But for some of you, because they were not able to bring you to the altar, right? We'll just say that. They were not able to get you up there on that altar. One of them will have to pay the piper, the king or the queen of swords, because they were not able to make Libra the victim. Yeah, they tried it. Four swords at the bottom. They sent you so many attacks. Look at the monsters reaching for her. Monster hands from under the bed. They sent you attacks in your dream state, in the astral. They sent you attacks in the physical. But mainly the, the, the astral. You've mainly been attacked spiritually by this king and queen of wands and this group. I told you guys the group and the creepy masked group came out. Three of Cups. This is the what the plan was. For you to go under. And for them to celebrate. You see the celebration going on in the background? They're like, cheers! And she's like, I'm sinking. Uh-huh. With the seven of pentacles, they tried to affect your finances, tried to make you worry about your money. They could have taken something from you to cause you concern. They initiated some type of um, block and a transfer like you were supposed to be transferred some type of funds and they were the ones that initiated the block <sighs> uh, what 
let's leave for advice here. Let's get two cards and then we're going to move into the my channel message cards and oracle cards. Two more cards for Libra's advice in regards to these people. The Nine of Cups. This is your neighborhood bartender. And you know what the neighborhood bartender is like for a lot of people? Almost like a counselor. Um, someone that has to listen to a lot of people's crap, okay? But also someone, you may be, and a lot of people don't mind that. I, You know, I don't mind that. People that want to come up. I mean, I'm not going to allow myself to get drained or overwhelmed by anybody else's energy or take up too much of my time. You know what I mean? But I enjoy to hear people's stories. And if they feel comfortable telling me that, then I respect them. You know what I mean? This person is respected. So you are respected and you're also a keeper of secrets. Or maybe some of you are currently going through a test to see if you can be trusted. I believe you are passing that test. This is the trusted bloke, her bloke. What is that British from around from around the pub? from around the corner at the pub. You know what I mean? Like, or is that Australian? I don't know. I just, that's just what I'm hearing. <laughs> With the King of Cups at the bottom. More angelic energy. And now we're seeing another counterpart too because we saw the Queen of Cups, Libra. This is double confirmation of you having a feminine and a masculine loved one ancestor on the other side and your angels protecting you they've protected you from this and you're making your wishes come true as well the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card because you can be trusted not only to keep secrets but the divine can trust you you know, that's why we keep seeing these angel cards. It's like the angels can trust you. The divine can trust you. Trust is earned is what I just heard the divine say as well. And uh, many of you have earned their trust. Wow. I've had a lot of really good titles that I've been wanting to write down throughout this reading. That's another good one. You have earned the trust of the divine. Trust is earned. You have earned that trust from the divine. Seven of cups. Beware of the cups with the snakes. Not all is what it seems, okay? You have options. You've got options, Libra. You got options, yeah. You got thousands of people. It, it's a million people watching, but it might be thousands, right? Hundreds, whatever. You got them watching, though. Yeah, they're clocking. And they're wanting to send you distractions, illusions. To cloud your judgment. Ooh, with the two of cups at the bottom. Libra, but you have this angel again. This is an earth angel. Some of you have a partnership. Oh my gosh, with the Six of Cups behind the Two of Cups from a past life. 
both of you have been healing your inner child as well. Both of you. Wow. With the death card behind that, both of you have undergone a deep transformation. Both of you could have honestly come out of like a lot of dark attacks or or dark energy around you as well with this phantom or you've experienced quite a few transitions of people you love in your life again the queen of cups Maybe you both have like lost somebody you loved and those people are now your angels. It could have to do with the queen of cups or a king of cups that passed away. Or it's just that angelic energy, Libra. Holy moly, this is... This is wild. You know, I never know what's going to come out. I accept, you know... I expect nothing less than intense <laughs> readings for you. But this is beautiful. The Six of Cups with the Two of Cups. That's really beautiful. Let's get some channeled messages. For some of you, you've never even met them. <laughs> and the other, for some, you know them personally, okay? So, either way, that's funny. You guys are telepathically connected. When you guys um, are like calling or getting ready to text each other, your ears may ring. And then you could see that they just contacted you. We have remote viewing, true psychic, all the Claire's, Supreme, Cloak. We're going to start here. Messages for Libra. Love you, Libra. Meditate, exercise, get fresh air. Walk, get out in nature, look up. I hope you guys have watched my most recent short video when I took my last walk out in nature the day before yesterday, I think it was. And I posted a short video on YouTube of all those birds. They were just flying around me. Like, it was so cool. I definitely felt like a fairy tale. This card wants to come out. Oh, oh, is that it again? Psychic, all the Claire's remote viewing, telepathy. It's like, you may come across a non-believer is what I'm hearing. Um, they may be an associate of your partner or your future partner here with the two of cups libra you're being asked to not engage they're jealous they're rude they're unreasonable and look what it says at the bottom angels will fight for you oh my gosh that's that's confirmation we kept seeing that queen of cups king of cups and we have an angel in the Two of Cups. The angels will fight for you. On your behalf. More confirmation. Water. Nature. Sunlight. Exercise. Organic. 
and gourmet. Bottom of the deck. You're a survivor. Warrior, survivor, powerful will, fight and defend. I feel like you have somebody coming in where you'll divine masculine. That's how you'll feel. Not that you need to fight or def they will come to your defense. Oh, thank you, spirit. This person will come to your defense when it comes to that rude, jealous person. We have Hayoka Empath. You or this person is a Hayoka. Also, someone here, um, that rude person could be a trickster. It's the energies. Oh my gosh. It is. It's them. Not They're not the Hayoka, but they're the trickster I mean, the Hayoka can take on the sacred clown, trickster spirit at times. But I'm feeling like that part of the card came out for them. And it did. It's back at the bottom. 2121. We're going to look up that angel number. They're rude, unreasonable, jealous. Do not engage. More confirmation. They're a clown. They're a clown. This person attached to your person is a clown. Uh. They're just big mad because they couldn't pull somebody like you, Libra. But your person did. Or they are. Or they will. Okay? <laughs> For real, though. I'm not... I'm not making anything up here this is what i'm getting look at this libra oh follow your dreams manifest awaken feel it see it and look what it came out with together roll the dice take that shot let it roll off your back let that clown energy roll off your back you're a smooth operator. And at the bottom of the deck, the power of love. Drive forward. Transmute it. Fuel your fire and power on. Boomski. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, spirit. Let's get some messages. I felt guided to pull out the Halloween oracle. And then we're going to end this read with the fairy oracle. Messages for Libra. Tell us more, Spirit. Thank you so much. We are so grateful. Ooh, my left ear just started to ring as soon as these cards popped out. There's our owl, Libra. Oh my gosh. What did I tell you about? having angels or ancestors and loved ones on the other side looking out for you. They've been protecting you from that. From them. Eternal love. Eternal love. Love from beyond the grave. Love is love is love, and it transcends physical death with a new dawn. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And Libra's feeling good. Birds in the sky know how I feel. Okay? The light after the darkness, Libra. Your ancestors and loved ones, guides and angels are coming through. Like, look, this is the light after the darkness, Libra. 
the time has come bottom of the deck joy and just for confirmation there's definitely been some witchy uh magic going on behind the scenes because i just these cards fell out let's see joy the cauldron so there was magic attempting to block your joy but you stayed strong we have strength your loved ones and ancestors sent you strength we have the underworld with the skull of stars possibility where all things pause and begin again with the pomegranate these people wanted you to shut up it's like the pomegranate has that um aphrodisiac um kind of like occult symbolism to it right it does for many hundreds of years maybe thousands i'm not probably thousands the pomegranate is significant here but it's stuffed in the mouth the underworld these dark energies wanted you to shut your mouth but no it's infinite possibilities for you skull of stars many of you are from the stars your star seeds and this witch this group coven whatever couldn't stop ish they tried it though and i'm hearing they tried it for a long time but it's time for them to detach and move on letting go detachment moving on Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Spirit's asking you to trust. Take a leap of faith. Oh, we still have to look up what 2121 means too. 2121. <laughs> 21 Savage. <laughs> 2121. Why did I just say it like that? Shout out to 21 Savage. I believe he's a Libra. I do believe he's a Libra. I know certain people watch my channel. Are you watching? 2121. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm going to Google that too. And I'm pretty sure he is indeed a Libra. And my ears ringing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways. Why do I keep hearing that? 2121. What the heck? Oh no. Yo, yo, yo. Oh my gosh. You guys, the synchronicities that happen in these readings for us are out of this world. Did I not tell you that you were a keeper of secrets with the Nine of Cups? Okay, remember that? You could be trusted, you're a keeper of secrets. I said it, keeper of secrets. Keeper of secrets. It almost makes me dizzy sometimes like I am getting dizzy it, it it's it can be overwhelming because it's like there are no odds there are no odds I mean there are odds I guess but they're so slim it's like astronomically slim odds that I would just happen to say Keeper of Secrets with that Nine of Cups. And then I pull out this Fairy Oracle. And here we have Keeper of Secrets. That I forgot was even a card in this deck. Because we don't get it often. Facts. It says, use your discernment. Confide in a trusted friend. Keep silent about knowledge. Keep silent about knowledge. 
Okay, we're going to read that. Whoa, with fairy lovers. This is like the two of cups. Oh my gosh. And you both have wings here. Libra. New love, courtship, romance, and falling in love. Oh my gosh. The fairy just came through, like all the oracles, all the channel message cards just came through to confirm and wrap up the entire reading. This is so wild. I'm loving it. Make sure you um, give this reading a big thumbs up if it resonates for you. Book a reading with me. Thank you guys don't understand how much you have supported. You have helped put food on the table for my daughter and I, especially the past few months where I've been going through my issues with the platform, but um, we're almost, we're nearing the end of that, knock on wood, so that should be all good very soon. But I just want you guys to know seriously, seriously from the bottom of my heart, bottom to the bottom of my feet, all the root chakra, heart chakra, all of that, how truly grateful I am for you guys that have donated and will donate and um, have booked readings with me because I don't want to just ask for donations. So you booking those readings really means so much to me because I can truly um, give back and it's an energy exchange. But if these readings resonate for you and you would like to donate as a tip because you received something from these readings, that's also an energy exchange. And I will accept that gracefully and gratefully. And just thank you guys. Seriously, I just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Libra land. I don't know where I would be without you. So let's read 46 fairy lovers and 37 keeper of secrets okay hold on just a second I'm being called to just do a little bit of protection really quick because I know not everybody wants what's best right so let's just do a little cleanse okay thank you Archangel Michael as well for protecting me along with this space while I channel and my Libra land family fairy lovers oh new love enchanting and all important it is like breath food or water we fall in love and all the world is lovely to us. We radiate a dense kind of golden glow. Our brain activity changes. We find it hard to sleep and eat and our chakras are wide open and spinning and spinning. Oh my gosh. Our cells sing to our beloved, and oh, how we pine for them, even to be with them for a moment. Oh my gosh, this is getting hot, Libra. We think of them all the time, for that is the next best thing to being with them all the time. New love can be stronger, whoa. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't agree with this, but to each their own. New love can be stronger than the will to live. And finding love can give us the desire to live forever with our beloved. Now that much is true. Yes, love can give you that desire. It is not the same any type of love can give you that desire. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. Anyway, it is not the same as mere lust or desire. It is altogether more necessary for our existence than either. 
splendid though they can be. When we fall in love, we experience euphoria, bliss, and rapture on such levels that to return to a normal state seems wrong, unnatural, and like a denial of our love. Our chemistry changes and our dopamine levels fire up, leaving us feeling like we are about to receive the greatest gift possible. And we are. Love is sweet and powerful. It is nectar to our own divinity. These fairy lovers here have found each other. They are courting still, and they have not yet the sweet, they have not known yet the sweet rapture of giving in to the desire. But it is coming, as is yours. Oh God, Libra. <laughs> there will soon be flirtation, intoxicating interplay, and a flurry of exquisite energetic activity between you and another. You are about to be intoxicated. The drink of fairy nectar and know what it is to be alive fiercely, brightly. Fear not that it will burn bright and brief. This flame, if you accept the cycles of magical time, could last forever. Smitten, crush, an ambrosia drinker. Oh, Libra, you are about to fall in love. It is most likely to be with a beautiful other who you will be spellbound by. And I just heard in my head, they will be spellbound by you as well. Do not fear, they will love too. And the rapture that will come from this coming together will outweigh all the fear you have experienced or anticipate experiencing at its loss in the past. This love is new, but it may also be the experience of the revival of a deep, fresh love in a mature relationship, courtship, being romanced and swept off your feet. You will find that you and your love are both magical beings who respond best to being outdoors Making love under the trees will help you stay in love and experience ecstatic union. A wild, free, deep, and true love is in bud. Oh, rapture. Oh, deepest and wildest of joys. And what was it? Yeah, they've been trying those, those dark energies, trying to block this joy. They've been trying to block um this union too mm -mm -mm, no more no more it's here patience sweet one patience this is a time to use your discernment and stay quiet and if you must speak speak only to a trusted friend we here have observed humans and in their increasing hurry their inability to wait for the right moment to speak and speak and not keep silent when a change is coming. And that is where I come in. The key, excuse me, confirmation, the key will not be given till you are ready and you will only be ready when you have learned lessons to know, to dare, to will, and to keep silent. Keeping silent is not the keeping of secrets as you so understand it, often understand it to be. Withholding to shore up power within one's soul? Oh no. The silence is to give the magic the time to grow, the space to mature, and then at the right moment, the key is given. When you have sought not the approval of others, nor dissipated your magics with words, 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 the time comes for us to grant you the key. For then we know you are to be trusted, and our trust is a great gift indeed. Powerful, magical, deep, and everlasting. 
So use your discernment, tune in and decide wisely with whom and where and when you will share your knowledge. For it is our very life force itself. Divine meaning. You are learning to treat something carefully and with wisdom. Mm -hmm. Deciding who to share your own experiences and thoughts with is an important step in knowledge. For when you squander your own precious thoughts upon those you know cannot understand, you are allowing your own precious magic to be diminished and diluted. You are learning who to trust with deeper, more sacred moments in your life and your magics, and who to stay quiet with. Learning the value of hard-won crafting as opposed to the fiery genius of initial ideas and enjoying the process of the in-between times without talking too much of them. Observing the 90-10 rule. Do 90% speak 10. Boom. This way your dreams and magics will live and breathe in life indeed. Be steady and quietly strong in the course of your love rather than impulsive and thus wasting your magics. So much of the magic is made by turning up and crafting something simply by doing the work. And it's so hard to convince people of that. And it doesn't make the magic any less for it. And I just heard what is for you is for you. Oh yeah, I just posted that quote on my community board yesterday. Okay, Libra, but that's what I just heard as well. What is for you is for you. These people couldn't stop it. They tried. Oh, well, game over. <laughs> you're either becoming, listen, for some of you, you're becoming some type of trusted advisor, okay? And the divine can trust you. Again, and for some of you, you're experiencing, if you're already in a beautiful, loving relationship, this is like feeling fresh and new again in that relationship or a deeper kindredship, like the card said. And for many of you, you're coming across a new love and it's true and it's real Libra. And it's something you could have been waiting for for quite a long time. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this reading a big thumbs up. Stay balanced. Stay blessed, Libra land. Peace. This was so good. I'm so excited.